you log into your ad manager account in your query tool and you don't get this option at exchange historical as a report type. That's because your account is not mapped with an ad exchange account. Your account is most likely linked with ad exchange, but not necessarily mapped. You will know if it's mapped because when you go to admin global settings, you have the ad exchange settings tab. In other words, they're mapped together. You own this ad exchange account. If it's a linked account, you will see that under admin linked accounts, but you won't get this ad exchange account settings tab in your admin page under global settings. So this ad exchange account linked to your ad manager account can still work the same way like run dynamic allocation, but there are certain advanced features that you won't be able to run if your account is linked and not mapped. In which case, you will have to work with someone like Monetize More in order to get or take advantage of those features. Even if your account is only linked and not mapped, you can still run accurate ad exchange reports. And let me show you how. On your query tool, choose the report type historical. Set the date range depending on your need. And here you need to set the filter line item type and you will have to choose Ad Exchange. So this will only pull the data for all your line items with Ad Exchange line item type, those that are running on dynamic allocation. So if you have Ad Exchange running on a different line item type, let's say for example, you're running it as price priority or house, then they will not be included in this report. The stats that you see here for Ad Exchange line item type is going to be accurate is DFP or ad manager communicates directly with the ad exchange account linked with it. Set your dimensions depending on the data you need. Let's say you want it broken down by ad unit, or you can also break it down by date. Add as many dimensions as you wish and set up the metrics as well. You can look at total impressions, revenue, CPM, And you can also see some ad exchange metrics in here. If you want to look at ad exchange viewability, go ahead and choose ad exchange active view percent viewable impressions. Once you're all set, go ahead and run your report. That concludes our video for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates on our latest videos. See you next time.